Well, hello everyone, Lock Garden and Bread Lady here coming with you guys with a quick, quick, quick video. I have not slept. I worked all night out last night. I haven't slept all day today. I've been up for a full 24 hours and some me a gang here. <laughs> so I am just gonna do a quick video. You guys ask about more pair, ask for more parrot videos, and I am giving them to you guys. Hold on a second. Okay. Come on. I don't like them to be close together and I couldn't see where, where Casper was. But in this video here, I just wanted to talk about the um, cage heater that I have. It's called the Snuggle Up Bird Woman. I got another one coming on me. <laughs> Birds is coming from everywhere. And this one here, I will actually, I'm gonna put it in Casper's cage for right now until I order a second one. The second one that I will be ordering will be the large. This one was a small and medium, but it had an African gray on the um, picture. And a cockatoo isn't that much bigger than an African gray. But just looking at it, it's relatively small. Um, it's about the size of them, just in comparison to my hand. So it's smaller than my hand. So I will be putting it in Casper's cage. But once I order the large, I'll be swapping it out to Danny's cage. And the reason that it's not favoritism, <laughs> promise you it's not, even though I'm always accused of favoritism, um, it's not favoritism. It is just that I, Danny is covered at night. I cover his cage and plus he has the tent that he gets into. Casper is exposed at night. I really don't cover his, like covering his cage a lot simply because, um, he's a dusty parrot and i don't like him being just enclosed so i may cover the front of the cage but as far as the back the front of the sides but the back i leave open so danny is a lot more um covered and sheltered from air and and, and cold weather than um that means i need to clip your nails all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna plug this up in casper's cage and just see how it works and it also has the covered cord as well so let me open it up and I'm sorry guys, I'm really, really tired. So my energy is kind of low, but I can't sleep. So, bear with me. I don't know, I'm just trying to open this up. I'm just trying to open this up. I might have to cut it, huh? I think I'm gonna have to cut it. Think so, you don't know. Get on your cage. Go ahead. So I have gotten it opened up. And yeah, this heater is small. Yeah, it is hot, small. So the small, don't pay attention to that um, African gray on the picture. It's misleading. They should have had like a conure or a finch or a, a parakeet on um, the picture on the small. But yeah, I think the African gray that they had on the picture was very misleading because like I said, this is the size of it. And who knows, it may give off a lot of heat. I don't know. So we'll see how it does with Casper, how much heat it actually gives off. So just gonna install it. This was actually very easy to put together. Um, it's just like you put in a, um, a perch or something. And it's just really, really simple to put together. All you do is just set it up, put the little round sprocket little things on the back and twist. I mean, it's just like, it's, it's made just like a perch. So it's not hard to put together at all. Um, again, my only concern is that cord, but um, what I'm going to do is just tape that down just like I did the heated perch cord to try to um, get Casper not to eat on it or chew on it or anything. So yeah, so all I'm doing now is I'm just taping down that with some little black electrical tape and yeah, it was really simple. So Casper is in his cage. As you can see, he's just kind of exploring. So overall, Casper does like both the perch and the, the heated perch and the um, heater. As you can see, he still has one foot. He's eating. He still has one foot on the heated perch. Um, and earlier, he was grabbing the heater with his claws. I don't know if it's because he liked the feel of the heater or if it be, if it's because he was just exploring it because it was something new and he's just eating right now and again his water is not dirty i put supplements in their water and it turns it a uh, um pea color so i didn't want anyone to think that um their water was dirty and um so yeah it gives off pretty good heat 
it has been on a full hour yet i know it gets to like mass maximum capacity at an hour so i'm gonna come back in an hour and check it out but i do like that it's gray at first i'm like why do they have it gray i do like that it's gray it's like a neutral color so it's not scary to them he he was a little afraid of the perch yesterday but as you can see in that video i just took it and i kind of um, put it up to him before i put it in the cage and he slept on it last night i actually came down here last night peeped in at him and he slept on it last night he's been on it all day today and yeah so i think it's a pretty good buy the only thing i'm disappointed is in the size of it the picture was misleading but i was gonna buy a second one anyway i'm just i just know to get the large for him and i'm gonna move the small over to danny's cage but that's pretty much it for this video and um thank you so much for watching and as usual to bye bye